Welcome to the Power Is Now Radio. Your host and founder of the Power Is Now Incorporated, Eric Frazier. The future is here, folks. It really is. And um, we try to provide information uh, to our listeners, our followers, and anyone connected with the Power Is Now about the future in real estate, about the opportunities that um, that exists right now to buy real estate, to sell real estate. You can find it all at the Powers Now magazine. Just go to our homepage at thepowersnow.com on our homepage and you'll find the magazine, which is a national magazine. Uh, we have over a million readers of our magazine. Also the radio magazine, you'll find that on the radio icon on the homepage, a radio guide where you can listen and read about past guests on the show, in fact, uh, Linnell and uh, Denise will be on the next cover of our radio magazine. All right. So uh, before we get started, let me share the bio of uh, Linnell Holden and Denise. I have uh, Linnell's information here and uh, Denise's. Let me pull it up here. Uh, while I'm pulling this information up, I want to encourage you to uh, check out what's going on with the Power Is Now events. Under the event page, you'll see that we have seminars occurring and all kinds of things that are happening. Uh, in fact, one seminar in particular is coming up October 24 at PWR. This is Pacific West Realtor Association, October 24th. And I'm really looking forward to that opportunity to uh, network and to share information about what's going on uh, in real estate. We'll be talking about commercial lending, um, being able as an owner occupant to buy your home, or buy your business that you're operating in, your commercial business with only 10% down. We'll be talking about Bitcoin and how to use Bitcoin to purchase real estate right now. Agents are actually doing it, creating a whole nother channel for their business opportunity with Bitcoin, Bitcoining and uh, cryptocurrency. And then also how to buy homes with little to no money down. And uh, we specialize in that here. Uh, there are so many programs that will provide the down payment and the closing costs are this don't require a down payment at all to help first time home buyers get into home. All right, so our first guest is Linnell Holden and she is the first vice president of the California Association of Real Estate Brokers and she's a secretary for the local chapter, the Solano Realtors. Uh, she's a mother of two young children, 15 years and 18 years old. She has been uh, an agent since 2006, a notary public, she began her uh, career in real estate as a salesperson with Remax Gold in Fairfield, California. And uh, her first sale, her first sale ever was a 10 unit apartment complex. So I tell you, when Linnell gets started with something, she wants to go big right away. For $1 million, she represented the buyer and got him a deal where only had to pay 5% interest and the seller carried the loan with a small down payment. And that's some serious negotiating there. Uh, Linnell, I may have to get your help on my next acquisition. She went on to uh, start her own family real estate firm in 2008, and she's also involved in property management. She passed her broker's exam in 2012, and the rest is history, folks. She is engaged. She is powerful. She is woman, right? <laughs> she is a realtor doing big things in uh, Northern California uh, in Fairfield. So welcome, Linnell, to The Power Is Now, and uh, thank you for coming. Thank you. What an introduction. I appreciate uh, you allowing me to come on here. <laughs> <laughs> Well, hey, the pleasure is all mine, and and this is not actually your first uh, 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 opportunity here on the Powers Now uh, Radio, and uh, and also on online television. You are you've been here before, and uh, you're a great uh, asset to the organization and uh, to our community of uh, real estate professionals. Um, now, I, I want to engage you and Denise at the same time, so let me share a little bit about Denise. Uh, she is the co-chair of the California Association of Real Estate Brokers Annual Conference, and every year, KRAP is putting on a conference, and it's a big deal, folks. It takes a, a lot of work. Uh, there's a lot of people involved. Someone has to be at the head of it, helping to keep it all organized and keep it moving forward. And they're planning a great event. She's going to give us the details about that coming up. She's also um, uh, a real estate broker out of uh, San Diego. 
Uh, she's the real estate, uh, our regional vice president, actually, for the state of California, uh, KRAB, the California Association of Real Estate Brokers. And she's the past president of the San Diego chapter. Uh, so welcome, Denise, to The Power Is Now. This is your first time on the show. Yes, Eric, it is. Thank you so much for having us. And we are looking forward to letting everybody know about our upcoming event um, where we are focused on building wealth through home ownership. Well, speaking of building wealth through home ownership, uh, as you all know, Neighbor have just concluded their 71st, is it the 71st uh, conference um, uh, uh, of the National Association of Real Estate Brokers. And um, there was a renewed effort here to achieving the two million and five. Can you share a little bit about that and what you learned at the conference? The conference was very exciting. Um, first of all, we did celebrate and remember the Fair Housing Act, which is 50 years. Um, and we'll also be doing that, you know, at an upcoming conference. And it was just going back from where we come from, to where we are and where we need to go in the future. Um, unfortunately, statistics have us as African-Americans right at the same place of home ownership that we were 50 years ago. So, you know, we're growing, but we have so much to do. And that's what we're doing is giving our members, um, you know, real estate professionals and affiliates throughout the state of California tools to create home ownership. And our goal is to have 2 million new homeowners in the next five years. Yeah, that is an ambitious goal, but I know NARAP is committed to it. So um, tell us about the conference and when is it and when, when do we expect, uh, what do you expect to happen there? Well, first of all, I have to let you know, I am the co-chair. Um, the chair is Marie Sturgill out of the Oakland chapter of NARAP. Um, and we will be in the beautiful city of Oakland right there um, Jack London Square. I'm not good with geography, but I've been there before. Our dates are October 24th to the 26th. And we're gonna be at the Oakland Marriott. We have um, two full days of education, networking, um, and just fantastic speakers, presenters to lift our, um, our membership, to, to give our, our membership the tools um, we have keynote speakers, we have politicians, we have technology. Um, there's just a vast, you know, probate, you know, trying to, our goal is to build black wealth, but sometimes we don't know and our families don't prepare for creating a legacy. So we have um, Mr. Mike Torres who's gonna come in and share with us the tools that we need to help educate our clients, preserve wealth, to avoid probate, you know, the, the goal is to plan beforehand. So that's just one of our opening sessions um, that we have there. So uh, Mike uh, Torres has been teaching this class for a long time and uh, what a great opportunity. Uh, I have been wanting to take this class as well. Uh, probate uh, is probably something every agent should have as part of their business plan because as we know, uh, seniors and and are the fastest growing segment where none of us are living forever, right? We, we need to understand what probate is and how to include it in our business. That's correct, Eric. One of the things, we did have a big trend in foreclosures and distressed sales, um, but we know that unfortunately we will not be here on this side the rest of our life. People die, they have to settle up estates. So if you're new in the business or looking to find a niche, probate, estate planning, you will always have a book of business. And, and I'd like to add to that, um, Mike Torres, uh, the information that they provide, I am also a, a certified probate real estate specialist. Um, the information that they provide is phenomenal. They have thought of everything. They give you all of the tools with regards to marketing. He tells you all the different ways that you can make money. I think um, a lot of the times in real estate, people think that once you get your real estate license or broker's license, the only way that you can make money is selling houses. And that is not true. 
There are many different avenues of making money and using your license. Um, and Mark Torres' class provides all of that information. So they have the, the online classes that you can attend as well as they have a one day training that you can attend, but it's very reasonably priced and the information is invaluable. Wow. Well, I have not taken this class. And so I am definitely going to add that to my list of uh, 1,001 things to do. <laughs> so <laughs> it needs to be made, uh, we need to push it up there as a priority given the circumstances uh, because we're, you know, we're not going to be here forever. And uh, this is the next best, big opportunity, uh, given our, you know, the frailty of humanity, right? We all have to die at some point. Uh, so Mike Torres, uh, who else is a big name that's going to be out there breaking it down for us, educating us, inspiring us at this conference? Well, we have a local, and her name is Shanika Badger. Everyone knows Shanika. She is a millennial guru, and she'll be doing the um, creating a value-based business. And Shanika is just outstanding. She is a millennial. She knows real estate. She has her own real estate group there in the Bay Area, and she knows technology. She knows how to contact. She knows how to brand. So if you don't know Shanika, I say Google her. She's going to pop up and you want to get your branding in place. So when, you know, you see the golden arches, you know what it's about. So if you're a real estate professional, you want people to identify with you. And she's going to be highlighting and giving us tools to brand ourselves. So we know, you know, so people just know who you are. Wow. Well, I do follow Shanika Badger and uh, listen to her frequent uh, video live video feeds, and uh, she's always providing great information. Uh, and she's actually been on the show here as well. Uh, so I, I think that for sure is going to be a presentation that everyone needs to participate in. And she is very involved in social media as, uh, as I am. And uh, it is not easy. It is not easy, but uh, it is not a choice anymore. If you want to be uh, viable, if you want to be known, if you want to be a brand, it's simply not an option to have a very strong, consistent, ongoing social media presence. And Shanika Badger is doing a great job at that. Definitely. So I tell agree. us. Go ahead. I was saying I agree. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so tell us more. Tell us more. What's okay, going on? Well, those are our pre-conference classes that are going to give a lot of value to our members, but um, we're going to open up in the traditional NARAB, KRAB method, um, and we're going to do some real estate evangelism. We're starting our morning out with um, Bishop Craig Warsham, who's out of our Los Angeles chapter, and is going to be building the Black Wealth um, Faith Base, a community partnership. Um, NARAB is partnering with local churches. We have signed some memorandums for understanding go so into the church um, to educate people on home ownership. We know that now we have Twitter, we have Facebook, but old school, you got your information from the church. So we're going back to basics and we're going to be partnering up with churches all across the country. And Bishop Worship is going to come in and demonstrate to us how to go out and partner with the churches. You know, how to reach out to the pastors to do the presence and presence and presence and presentations. Mm -hmm. So that's, you know, that's really close because when I started out in real estate, all my clients came from the church. I was mm -hmm. very involved in the church. I was a fortunate, but you know, that is a comfort zone for many of us. And we like to do business with people that we are comfortable with. So one, for the church's benefits, when homeowners are, when the members are homeowners, then they, you know, they, they, they tithe, okay? And every pastor wants everybody to tithe. Um, and there's other things that you can do within the church besides the home ownership. We can talk about um, building the community up. So that is something that he's gonna to present to us. And it is, you know, if you don't go to anything else and you're looking to grow your business, 
that's a session, you know, all the sessions, that's a session you don't want to miss. So if you're in your church, you're looking to build a business or you're looking to get into the church, this is what you need to come here. We're listening to uh, Denise Mathias and uh, Linnell Holden uh, with the California Association of Real Estate Brokers. And um, uh, they're talking about the state conference that's coming up. Uh, Denise, uh, actually, Denise, can you give the location and date and time one more time before we go to our break for those who are listening on Blog Talk Radio and those watching on Facebook Live? Yes, Eric, the California Association of Real Estate Brokers Annual State Conference moving forth, forward, building the Realtors Roadmap to Success this October 24th through 26th at the Oakland Marriott Center City in beautiful downtown Oakland, California. All right. But well, folks, it's going to be a great event. And uh, you haven't, I, I believe there's more. And so we're going to take a break. When we come back, uh, we're going to not just talk about what's more, what's happening at the conference, but also uh, what's happening in politics as it relates to real estate. There's a proposition, Proposition 10, that Linnell Holden is going to, I believe it's 10 or 5. We agree to talk about 10 or 5, Linnell. 10. <laughs> 10. All right. 10. So it's going to break down Proposition 10 for us, folks. And uh, what it's all about, perhaps you haven't had a chance to uh, get up to speed on all the propositions and what's going on. And I understand that we are all so busy just trying to make a living. It's hard to stay uh, up to speed on everything else that's going on. But of course, everybody's eyes are glued to the Kavanaugh hearings, right? And everything that's going on with that. OMG. What a mess. What a mess. Uh, so... Uh, we're going to focus now on uh, KRAP, though, and uh, Proposition 10. So hang in there with us, folks. Uh, we're going to take a break. We'll be right back. So please check out our blog. It's uh, every about once a week. We're updating our blog as well as once a month, the magazine. And um, a lot of great information there about real estate. And I want to encourage you also to check out what's going on on our events on Tuesday night. Every Tuesday night is something different. Tonight, we're going to be talking about what does it take to apply for a mortgage, the documentation requirement, what do you need to know before you even get started on the process, and that's tonight at 7 p.m. We are talking to Linnell Holden, who is the first uh, vice president of KRAP and secretary of Solano. We're talking to Denise Mathias, who is a co-chair of the California Association of Real Estate Brokers Annual Conference. She's also the regional vice president for the state, past president for the San Diego chapter. And Denise has been kind of breaking it down as to who's going to be there. And so far, folks, I tell you, uh, the price uh, for admission is right on point. You're going to learn about probate. And um, uh, that, to me, uh, is enough in and of itself right there, learning how to sell and market probate. Uh, so, Denise, anything else you want to uh, uh, share with us about what's happening? Uh, first, you're going to kick it off the traditional way, you said, with uh, evangelism and, uh, and, uh, and uh, spirituality with the pastor. And then you're going to go deep into other, uh, other things. So continue, if you will. Okay. Thank you, Eric. Um, like, we're gonna, like I said, we're going to start out, as we always do, with prayer. But um, then we are going to kick it up a notch and we're going to have automation in case folks don't know about um, LabCo Agent. Uh, Tristan's going to be there telling us how to completely go automate it. OK, I'm talking to you right now all the way. You're in Orange County. I'm in San Diego. This is the way that we work. So let's get our, our systems in place. Let's get automated. Um, and he's going to give us the tools to actually, you know, work remotely. OK, very soon we'll be opening up doors remotely for our clients. But um, Tristan's going to be a great part. He's lab coat agents. I'm sure that everybody's heard of him. And that's, you know, that's a very big part of our um, our conference is, you know, going digital, reaching the millennials because they are our future. And even though we are looking at to the future, we are going to have a fair housing quote summit 
we're going to talk to some real heavy hitters that were here 50 years ago. Can you believe that? They've actually been in real estate for over 50 years. We have um, our past national president, Ms. Evelyn Rees. She, along with a few others, will be on one of our sessions that's going to be held um, during the lunch hour. Um, and it's 50 years of fair housing. The fight continues. So we're going to look at the past. Um, and there, you know, we're going to talk with Miss Evelyn Rees, Tommy Holmes, and Ray Carlisle. And then we're going to focus on what is present right now. And that's going to be moderated by um, Ashley Thomas III out of the Los Angeles chapter. And then we're going to actually get down and get ready to go into the future. And we have some part of our young realtors division that are going to be on fire, just letting everybody know where we're going. And we're looking to have um, Nick Boucher and Imani Brock Smith. They're all going to be there. They're just going to tell us what we need to do in the future. Um, and of course, we will have none honor other than Mr. Mark Austin, who's going to come in and do an address on the state of housing and black for Blacks in California. So he's just going to break it down, let us know where we are, where we're going, and give us the statistics, working with, you know, government agencies, working with the banks, just telling us what they've done, what they're doing, and what they do now. And I'm telling you, if you never heard Mark Austin before, mm. this is another one that is worth the $99. Can you believe that, Eric? We are only charging $99 for this conference. And each one of these speakers in themselves will command a three, $400 fee just to hear the information that they have. Um, and that's kind of, you know, going to take us all through the, the, the day of Wednesday um, before we, you know, go into the, the next morning. Um, which, you know, Linnell can talk about, we're going to have a le legislative breakfast. And you mentioned Proposition 5, Proposition 10. We're going to have a few of our elected officials who are going to come in, address us, give us pros and cons on those propositions and the, the you know, what can be done. You know, what they're working on, how they are behind us, how they are supporting us, getting us ready to go out and create home ownership. It's a partnership. You know, we not only need our sponsors, our partners, the major banks, but we need the churches. We need, you know, the politicians. You know, real estate is all about policy. And we really have a lot of people behind us. So they're going to come forward and, you know, Linnell can talk about, you know, KRAB's position on the different legislation. And they're just going to tell us, you know, pros and cons and where, where we can go. Uh, Denise, you've done a fantastic job in breaking down the conference, and uh, $99 is truly a bargain for members. You have to be a member in order to pay $99. It's $150 for non-members, unless there's a special discount. Is there a special occurring right now? Well, I'm going to take co-chair executive privilege here. Okay. Future members are $150, and... We will take the difference between the 99 and the 150 and apply it to their membership or whatever chapter they go to and join. So oh. if they want to join, they can go to krab.org and sign up, become a member, or they can send an email to krab at c-a-r-e-b event at gmail.com. Tell me where you're located. I'll get you in touch with that local president. We'll get you signed up this week, um, and you'll only do the $99. All right. Sound like a deal? Is that okay? Sounds like um, a fantastic deal. Yeah. I, I think that that's quite all right. I mean, there people are getting a bargain. There's so many um, benefits to being a Realtist member, and the education is a major part of it. That's one of the reasons why I joined the organization. Um, the education and the camaraderie um, and the information that you get. A lot of the information and education that we get, people don't realize it, but it, it's, it's in the classes, but it's also in the relationships that you make. There are some things that just can't be taught in classes. 
and being able to help educate one another, share ideas with one another, um, business tips and so on can help, you know, put money in your pocket, your business and expand uh, things for you financially um, and spiritually too. And also, um, you know, as a, as a person, it definitely can help that. So yeah, if they, if they join the organization, they're, they're on the right track. track. So I, I agree. <laughs> well, Denise, thank you for uh, making that contribution to the local chapters and supporting their efforts to grow. Uh, by uh, providing that difference uh, between 99 and 150 to local chapter membership. So for those of you who are interested in becoming a real TIS, uh, you can go to uh, the seminar, uh, the conference, October 24th to 26th. Uh, you can become a member. Uh, go to kreb, C-A-R-E-B dot org, and there you'll find all the chapters, all the local chapters. Uh, you can register for the event and know that a portion of that registration will be applied to your membership of whatever local chapter you decide to attend. The seminar is going to be, or the conference is going to be October 24th to the 26th at the Oakland Marriott Center City uh, Hotel, 1001 Broadway, Oakland, California. The theme is moving forward, building the Realtors Roadmap to Success. And if you've been paying attention, you can see that they're focused on education, knowledge is power, and the power is now. If you really want to grow your business, if you want to uh, build your brand, if you want to leverage technology, that requires education. Education bring, uh, leads to knowledge, because education and experience combine, and knowledge equals power. It really does, as if you put it into action, because some people, you know, they know a whole lot about everything, but they get absolutely nothing done. Don't be one of those people. Now, um, what a great segue, Denise, in talking about the last day, which is the legislative conference. And uh, Linnell Holden is uh, first vice president in charge of legislation. That's one of her responsibilities as a first VP. So, Linnell, tell us about the legislative day. Uh, Denise has given us a high-level overview, and if you could give us any more details about that, that would be helpful. And then also, uh, as you know, Proposition 10 and 5 are, you know, very controversial. What is the state's position and why? Well, um, first, I can tell you, I cannot give the state's uh, official position. We, we haven't put that out yet. So I want to make that disclaimer. Um, I, I can definitely tell you with regards to legislative day, um, we're, we're, we're going to have some exciting people there. Uh, Rob Bonta has agreed from Oakland to come out to the conference and sit um, and speak with us. We will also have a few of our other NAREB, so our national uh, members that will be sitting and also speaking on Proposition 10. Um, you know, it's a hot topic. It's an important thing and it affects everybody throughout this state. It's so expensive to live in the state of California and a lot of people um, are moving out of the state. So, you know, anytime when we have things like this that affect the tenants, that affect the landlords, it's going to be a hot topic. Um, but that is what we'll be speaking on. We will have some other legislators there. I, I apologize. I think, Denise, I'm not sure if you have the names of all the other legislators that will be there, but I know that we've reached out to a couple of people and they are on schedule. So, um, but as far as Prop 10, um, my official position is I see it from both sides. I am a property manager as uh, well as a real estate broker. And um, I have a property. I'll give you an example. I have a property in Oakland. It has to, Prop 10 has to do with revealing the Costa Hawkins law and, excuse me, Costa Hawkins Act. And with regards to Costa Hawkins, um, there is rent control. On certain on certain properties, there's single family residences, uh, new condo condominiums, uh, newly constructed apartment units, and for instance, there are about I want to say 12 to 15 cities in the state of California that have rent control. Um, some of those cities being Oakland, San Francisco, um, San Jose, and certain places. Uh, let's see, Los Angeles, Hayward. Berkeley, 
uh, even Beverly Hills, <laughs> um, Palm Springs, and, and so on and so on. So some of those places have rent control, which basically means that the cities have put a restriction on the homeowners as to how much they can raise the rent per year. Um, so it may be a, a percentage, like uh, for instance, I believe Oakland was 3% not long ago. So I have a property, um, rented the property out back in 2008. I still have that client back in 2008. The rent was about $1,300 a month. Um, and, you know, because of rent control, you could only raise the rent at 3%. As time goes on, we have inflation. We have a lot of, um, you know, prices go up. And so if you can only raise the 3%, you know, it doesn't catch up to what the property value is with regards to taxes and the homeowner having to pay more money uh, for their mortgage and the taxes. Uh, so it, it, it caused a problem where uh, I had to go to court because you do have to go to court and you get the property qualified under Costa Hawkins so that you can raise the rent um, and that it does not qualify under rent control so that you can you can raise the rent to get it to be at, at least market value. I mean, at, at the market rate, um, that way it would allow for the homeowner to actually um, actually have the rent at the rate that it should be at so that she's not in the negative paying for the tenant to live in the property. And that's kind of, you know, the situation that it ended up being. She was paying for the tenant to be in the property and paying to pay me. So she was in the red. And so I had to go to court to um, get it classified under Costa Hawkins. Now, um, with regards to Costa Hawkins, um, you still have eviction controls. There's in, in Oakland, you know, there's there's 15 reasons on why you can't evict somebody. The whole purpose of, I should say, Prop 10, like if you vote yes, then um, if you vote yes on the measure, excuse me, if you vote yes on the measure, then um, the law limits the kinds of rent control that the laws and the, and the counties have. Um, you know, like I said, there are 12 to 15 cities that have the rent control. If you vote no, um, then the state law will continue the limits would, would continue, excuse me, vote yes, the, the law wouldn't limit it. Vote no, the law would limit it. I apologize. Um, but again, our whole thing as realtors, we are supposed to protect the community as a whole. Um, you know, having rent control protects the tenants, keeps them in the properties longer. It makes sure that they have a, a stable place to stay so that the uh, property rents can't go up from $1,300 to $3,000 because the homeowner wants them out. Not have it, and that will create inventory if people have to continuously get out. Um, right now, we have a lot of gentrification going on with regards to the Bay Area. Um, a lot of properties have been, their rents have been raised. And so a lot of people are coming out to the Solano County, Sacramento County, um, places that the rents are a lot uh, less expensive. Um, and so it will create inventory at the same time. Um, so I'm, I am torn on it because I see it both ways, but I think that it's always best to protect the families, keep the families in the properties um, instead of displacing them because a lot of that is happening right now. A lot of families are being displaced. Um, but that's my position on it. I don't have one. I'm in the in the middle. And KREB, unfortunately, um, I can't say what their official position is yet. So I'm sorry. <laughs> but we will discuss that at the uh, conference for Legislative Day. So you've got to make sure that you register and uh, attend that on that day. Interesting. Um, I can appreciate uh, being torn uh, because of the... Um, you know, we're looking at it both from a business standpoint and a spiritual or maybe moral uh, vantage point. And uh, at what point, um, you know, does your business uh, decisions become moral or amoral? And um, uh, I'd be curious to hear, uh, Denise, what is your position on the matter of Proposition 10? Should they... Yeah, are you are you leaning towards yes or or no? Well, Eric, we were invited um, as KRAB, and again, we have to state that KRAB has not made their position yet. 
So right. we want to reserve until, you know, we come together. Um, if you want to have me back on personally, for me mm -hmm. to express my personal view for Denise Mathis and her personal clients, I'll be more than happy to do that. But KRAP has not made their decision as to which way they want to go because it is complicated. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There are two sides when you look at it. Um, so I will defer to, you know, the first vice president because she is over legislative and, you know, we just haven't made that decision yet as to what we want to state publicly as a group. No, I understand. Uh, I know that the National Association of Realtors uh, has um, come out, I believe, uh, against Proposition 10. So uh, I, I need to confirm, I need to refer to my notes on this, but I believe that. Um, uh, so I'm not sure if we're going to be on the same side uh, as the National Association which would not surprise me, right, if we're not on the same side as the National Association or the or California, I mean, the California Association of, uh, of Realtors. Do you know what their position is on the matter? Um, yes, I do know that um, California Association of Realtors um, has put out their paper and they are no on 10. Yeah, no on 10, yeah. So no means uh, uh, they don't want uh, the state, uh, the local city, to be able to uh, place limits on rent. Um, is that, am I understanding that correctly, Vanel? No means no limits. Yes means continue to limit and control. A rent. no vote means that they would continue to limit the kinds of rent control on the laws in cities. A yes vote is that they would not limit uh, the laws on the rent control. Okay. And so CAR's position, let's see here. I'm gonna look and I'm gonna look them up real quick here. Um, what did you say it was, Denise? You believe it was yes? Uh, no, on um, CAR's position is no on 10. Okay, no on 10, okay. All right. So. Now, folks, if you have an opinion on the matter, I'd love to hear it. Um, I need to do some more research myself to determine what my position is going to be. Um, as a property owner and investor, I, too, don't like the idea of my income being limited as part of my portfolio for retirement. And the one thing that we can expect in life is for the cost of living and the cost of property management and the cost and the cost of interest to continue to rise. And as property managers, as uh, property investors, we are, we're at some point in our lives gonna be dependent upon passive income from, uh, from the market and from real estate holdings that we have. And so rent is a very big part of that. And um, the idea that the state or the local government can, can limit that um, is, is troubling, it is troubling. But I also see that there's a crisis occurring across the state. In fact, uh, California has the unfortunate reputation of having the nation's largest homeless population. Mm -hmm. And uh, that uh, does not, uh, you know, that certainly does support uh, housing initiatives and putting limits on rent and it supports uh, doing something, doing something legislatively about it. Um, and we see the gentrification is occurring everywhere and mm -hmm. with companies coming in and uh, also immigration uh, and uh, technology and the whole economic movement and technology just driving the cost of everything up from housing to com whether it be residential or commercial and um, and also requiring more skilled labor, which is driving uh, those who are as a blue collar laborers uh, to live further and further away from uh, the centers of, employ of employment. So this is, a, this is a tough issue. And I think it's not the, it's just the beginning of uh, more and more legislation to try to make a difference in the housing crisis that's taking place in California. Is there anything more you guys would like to share about Proposition 10 or and about the conference? I, I appreciate you both taking time uh, to come on the show today. We're live on Blog Talk Radio and 
We certainly hope our listeners will share this link. Those of you who are watching on Facebook, uh, please share the link. Uh, and if you would like to uh, attend the conference, you can reach out uh, to Linnell and to uh, Denise. Uh, for more information, if you would like to ask them some questions directly. In fact, why don't we take this time right now uh, and share your information. Let's start with you, Lenise, if someone wanted to reach out to you. I mean, Lenise, um, I'm sorry, Denise, yes. Okay. Denise Mathis, BEM Real Estate. My direct line is area code 858-414-2774. That's 858-414-2774, and it's D. Mathis. Mathis is spelled M-A-T-T-H-I-S. There are two T's. I have two T's, and Johnny has the money. So it's D. Mathis at D-E-M-Financial.com. Um, and one thing I want to say, there are some other things regarding the conference. Speaking on policy, you know, voting, Yes, no, five or 10. The first thing is, is that you have to be registered in order to vote, okay? If you haven't registered, please, please, please vote. Every vote counts. Every vote matters. It could be, you know, don't think your vote doesn't matter. Don't think your voice doesn't matter. We need our people to register if we're about to make a change. There is strength in numbers and we need everybody voting. Doesn't matter if you vote the same as I, but you need to vote, voice your vote. All right. And Linnell, hold it. Okay, that was that was awesome. Um, uh, Linnell Holden, um, Holden Homes Realty. I'm in Northern California in the Solano County area, but I work all over because I have a California real estate license. So um, my telephone number is 707-208-6897. If you'd like to email me, you can email me at Holden Homes, the number four and the letter U at gmail.com. That's Holden Homes with an S, the number four, and the letter U at gmail.com. Um, I'm, uh, let me see, what else? Um, I mean, I think it's really important for people to get involved uh, legislatively right now. There are so many things that affect how we live our everyday lives. You know, if, if you're not, um, what do they say, if you're, if you're not at the, if you're not at the table, then you're on the menu. <laughs> You know, it's important for you to make sure, like Denise said, that your that your voice is heard. Um, please, please, please make sure that you get registered to vote. Um, but make sure that you get educated on these propositions. Don't just go off of what you hear from television. Make sure that you reach out, you know, Google it, look up the information, discuss it with other people. There are two sides to this situation. Um, you know, it affects everybody differently. So it'll be a major decision. Um, but I mean, KREB is, they are doing things legislatively. We have um, a proposed bill that we are working on and it is to help uh, minority home ownership. So um, get involved, join a realtor or join a realtor's chapter. They, we have 10 throughout the state. And if, guess what? If we don't have one in your area, Call me. We'll we'll start a chapter. We'll figure it out. Um, but it's really important to get involved so that we can help the people in the community and grow our communities. Fantastic. Well, uh, folks, we have uh, reached out to the California Association of Realtors uh, to join us, and hopefully they'll be coming on the next uh, couple of weeks here uh, to talk about uh, Proposition 5 and Proposition 10. And uh, when we nail down that appointment, Linnell, I will uh, invite uh, KRAP uh, leadership to attend that event as well. Uh, the realtor's position is um, no, is yes on five, yes on five, Proposition 5, and no on Proposition 10. And if you want to learn more about their position, you can go to www or actually no World Wide Web is required. Just type in on.car dot org car dot org forward slash yes five no ten on dot 
car on on car.org forward slash yes five no ten. Uh, and uh, all the details are there as to why uh, they are taking the position. So I'm looking for a similar statement uh, coming from the California Association of Real Estate Brokers, the Real TIS. Uh, we are both Real TIS and Real Tours. I'm a member of NAR and CAR and a member of uh, NARAP, the National Association of Real Estate Brokers. And so we're looking for a positional statement that will come out here soon uh, before Election Day. And as Denise has said, uh, before you even consider your position, consider registering to give vote, to, to be able to vote on the issue. So we certainly hope that everybody gets out and gets involved and uh, be at the table and not on the menu. I love that, Linnell. It is so, so very true. Well, uh, any final words before I go on to some final announcements uh, from our guests? Any final comments? from Linnell Holden and uh, Denise Mathis. Hmm. I'd just like to say thank you. Thank you for giving us the opportunity to come on here. Um, you know, we're, we're both real estate professionals, brokers. We, we do it all. If we can't do it, we'll get you in contact with whoever can. We're like your, your one-stop resource. We're involved in the community. Um, it's really important for us to make sure that we're continuing to um, help the minority group grow um, so that they can continue to leave a legacy. Um, I believe that, you know, everybody, everybody's their mother, their father, their cousins, their, you know, aunts and uncles um, need to get educated so that they can all become property owners, not just homeowners, but property owners. So uh, we're still working on that. And um, just thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. You're welcome. Eric, again, we want to thank you, but I would like to highlight a couple of more things on the um, conference. We have talked about home ownership, where we're from, but we also um, are moving forward. We have our state president, Steve Peterson, who's going to be talking about investing, commercial investing. Maybe you already have your home, okay? It's time to build up your portfolio. And he's going to talk about group investing, okay, and different ways of building a legacy to leave on. It's nice to have your own house, but it's even bigger and better to have more houses. So we'll be talking about that with our president, Steve Peterson. We also have um, Manny Fernandez. He's going to be there talking about using cryptocurrency to invest in real estate. Big chocolate. So again, that little $99, you're going to get $1,000 worth. And it's not like we are saving the best for last, but our keynote speaker at our installation in Gala is not, none other than Jay Morrison, known as Mr. Real Estate. He's a real estate investor, TV personality, social activist, author, and he's the CEO and founder of Jay Morrison Academy, a real estate investing school and mentorship program. Um, Jay is out of this world. He's come from such a far, far, you know, he's, he's just grown. Um, you can see him on CNN. Did you hear this? CNN, Fox News, NBC, and guess where he's going to be? He's going to be at the KRAB annual conference this October. He has a life story. He was a high school dropout. He was an at-risk youth. Um, he was even a felon. He has made a major, major life transformation. Um, and he's going to come and share his story and help us build black wealth. That's what it's all about. So we are no joke. OK, we got CNN, P people have been on CNN. We have our state president. We have Manny Fernandez. We've gone all out. It's very diverse and it's more than worth the ninety nine dollars. Go on, register, krab.eventbrite.com. If you are a future member, the difference between our regular registration and what we're asking you, um, and go towards your local membership. 
And when you become a local member, you become a member of the state and also our national. It's a great big family. So um, KRAP Annual State Conference, October 24th through 26th, there in Jack London Square at the Oakland Marriott. You want to be there. Thank you, Denise, for uh, reminding us, because I saw the announcement about Jay Morrison uh, attending the conference, and uh, uh, he is uh, a remarkable individual who has achieved a lot in his life and has experienced a lot, and perhaps the most uh, notable achievement, and there's quite a few to, uh, that are noteworthy, but perhaps this, his greatest achievement uh, will be the establishment of the Tulsa Real Estate Fund, and uh, the only, I believe, uh, black community driven, you know, black wealth initiative uh, supported by a fund that I'm aware of. And uh, this is uh, a first, he's a fund manager, uh, perhaps the only African-American fund manager of a fund like this, in particularly the Tulsa Real Estate Fund. And so I'm certain he's going to be talking about that. Uh, if you haven't uh, heard about the Tulsa Real Estate Fund, uh, you can go to Tulsa Real Estate Fund, TulsaRealEstateFund.com, and uh, there's a website, and you can um, download uh, all the information about it. So I was looking at it over the weekend, in fact, and reading the um, uh, all the uh, disclosure information about the fund uh, because I'm considering investing myself. Uh, and this very unique uh, business opportunity that's, that's focused on helping our community. And I'm impressed by Jay Morrison and his story as well. Heck, I want to be Jay Morrison, so we'll, we'll see what the future holds, uh, if I can achieve that goal. Well, ladies, uh, thank you so much for your time today. Uh, just a, a couple of quick announcements, uh, folks. Uh, the details are on our website, by the way. Uh, if you go to thepowersnow.com, look under events, and you'll see uh, national events. Uh, you'll see the KRAP breakdown. You can go to krap.org and register for the event, but we have the details on our website as well. Also, a link to register. So if you're already on the Powers Now website, go to events and look under national and local events, and you'll see the information about the KRAP conference. And then uh, Realtor Seminars, we have them coming up October 24th and November 4th, uh, two seminars to help you grow your business as a real estate professional. And then we have our home buyer Seminars uh, that are coming up uh, in uh, Northern California. The information will be on the website uh, probably by tomorrow. Uh, we'll, we're doing a total of about five uh, seminars, first time home buyer Seminars, both in Northern Cal, and uh, Southern California. And then lastly, the Facebook Live events, under events, you'll see tonight I'll be talking about how to apply for a mortgage, the documentation that you need to have. And I'm gonna go into those documents as to why they are required, why it's needed. And then this coming Thursday, we're gonna be talking about business opportunities. Most real estate professionals, in fact, I know a lot of real estate agents and I can count on one hand how many sell business opportunities. And so we're gonna be talking about business opportunities uh, that are for sale on the MLS, from restaurants to dentist offices, to floral shops, to industrial business, to manufacturers, to you just name it, it's for sale on the MLS, business opportunities, franchises, you name it, it's for sale. And so we're gonna bring business opportunities to the uh, limelight on uh, next Thursday from uh, 1230 to 130. And if you would like to come on and talk about a business opportunity you have for sale, please do so, cost you nothing. And if you wanna talk about real estate for sale, of course, we're gonna start the show talking about some single families that we have here at The Powers Now and uh, other agents who are partner with us that they have for sale. And then we're gonna transition into business opportunities for sale as well. All right. Well, this has been another great show. I, I want to encourage you all to share the link. Will you share the link uh, to everyone you know? If you're part of uh, other Facebook groups, please share the link. If you are uh, on um, on Bob Talk Radio listening, please share the link. Uh, and I'm certain there's someone 
who needed to hear this information, would like to learn more about KRAP and all the local chapters. I'm a member of the uh, Orange County chapter, past president. You can go to OC Real Tis, ocrealtis.org and become a member of the local chapter in Orange County. And if you're looking for a chapter outside of uh, Orange County, LA County, uh, there are about 10 or 11 chapters. They, they all are on the KREB website, C-A-R-E-B dot org. All right, ladies, I believe that just about uh, covers it. And uh, I appreciate you taking time to uh, be with us today. And um, I, uh, I appreciate the information you're sharing with us. Uh, and uh, I certainly know that uh, it's going to be a successful event uh, I am still trying to make it right now. I have a conflict, so I will not be there. But uh, certainly, um, I am wishing the state and all of our local chapter partners uh, a great conference and a great event. And uh, man, just uh, I, I may just counsel everything just to meet uh, Jay Morrison. I mean, and uh, uh, shake his hand for a uh, uh, you know, just doing some great things and inspiring many people to uh, get into the game of real estate and into the game of business and the game of life, you know, not allowing your circumstances, your, your uh, uh, whether it be from incarceration or being raised by a single mother, um, you know, finding a way to, to achieve in spite of all of that. And, uh, and that's his story. What a big story it is. All right, you're listening to The Power Is Now. Thank you for joining us today. We appreciate your attendance. Please share the link. Uh, subscribe to us on uh, iTunes. Uh, we're on iTunes, TuneIn, uh, Spreaker, just about every online radio platform. We're syndicated, over a million listeners. And so uh, please uh, subscribe to our show. Uh, like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, subscribe to us on our YouTube channel. It's all there. Let others know about The Power Is Now as another resource to help you grow your business as a real estate professional and help you make the dream of homeownership a reality. Thanks for joining, everyone. Bye-bye now. Thank you. You've been listening to The Power Is Now Radio. For more information about the show, check us out at thepowerisnow.com or find us on Facebook, LinkedIn, and Twitter.